First, I would like to commend all candidates for city council who put themselves out there and sought election to the council, as well as congratulate the incoming city council members. Thank you to everyone who joined together with the city, county, and state officials, religious leaders from local congregations, and all the poor survivors for prayer, remembrance, and testimony this past Sunday at the Sixth Floor City Hall to commemorate the 81st year since Chris Christus Ball Night. Excuse me, Chris Ball Night. <laughs> that little tough fight is. Uh, four days with the manager is now meet the manager. Meet with the manager an opportunity for residents to meet with the acting city manager without an appointment. Will now include opportunities from 4.30 to 6.30 before the second meeting of the city council each month, generally through the third Tuesday. Schedule is as follows through the end of the year, Monday, November 18th from 2 to 4, Tuesday, November 19th from 4.30 to 6.30, Monday, November 25th from 2 to 4 p.m., Monday, December 2nd from 2 to 4, and Monday, December 9th from 2 to 4, Monday, December 16th, 2 to 4, Monday, December 23rd, 2 to 4, Tuesday, December 17th from 4.30 to 6.30, and Monday, December 30th from 2 to 4. Please note that the meet with the manager hours are canceled for Monday, November 11th, Veterans Day. Uh, meet with the manager will resume Monday, November 18th from 2 to 4 at the city manager's office on the fifth floor of City Hall. Uh, we've had a pretty good flow of people coming in, so it's been very helpful. The joint veterans organization, in cooperation with the city of Long Beach, will host the annual Veterans Day commemoration ceremony. This year's service will take place on Monday, November 11th at 10:30 a.m. inside City Hall on the sixth floor. The Veterans Day ceremony is the community's way to publicly thank the many veterans who have bravely served our country. A collation will be held at City Hall after the service. All are welcome to attend. In addition, City Hall and Magnolia Senior Center will be closed in observance of this holiday. Youth and Family Daycare, the Recreation Center, Ice Arena, and Youth and Family Holiday Care will be open as well, with Long Beach buses operating on a holiday schedule. And East End Sanitation pickup taking place as per normal schedule. The city's public work schools will be flushing hydrants from tonight, Wednesday, November 6th, to Wednesday, November 20th, between the hours of 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. Hydrants are flushed to remove iron deposits and sediments from the system. It also allows us to know that the hydrants are working properly. During this time, you may experience some low pressure or water discoloration, especially when flushing takes place in your neighborhood. When hydrants are open to flush, the system iron deposits can be removed by the high volume of water flowing through the pipes resulting in a temporary and harmless discoloration of water. The discoloration is from wine, which is naturally present in the water and builds up deposits along the inside of our water pipes. During flushing, four residuals will be raised in order to ensure safe water quality throughout the distribution system. If poses no threat to your health, you may choose not to drink the water during the flushing process. We suggest that you keep a pitcher of clean water in your refrigerator. Once the hydrant flushing is complete, the water quality will return to normal. Avoid doing laundry between 10 p.m. and 10 a.m. When hydrants are being flushed, run cold water for two to three minutes after flushing. Uh, hours to be sure your water is clear. If clothes become discolored, wash with a rust remover. For more information, you can visit www.longbeachny.gov backslash public works. And a robocall went out tonight to all the residents on that. Thank you.